Hey guys, it's Jim. So you recognize this handsome guy. We had talked on opening night and I promised that we were gonna come back, find out all about this man. It's Jeff Diebold. He is uh, Sam in our amazing production of Mamma Mia. Again, dude, congratulations. Thank you. It just keeps getting better. Everybody keeps loving it. You guys did a show today, a matinee. Everybody came out smiling and singing and happy and it's, it's just a wonderful production. It's a lot of fun to do and it's a apparently a lot of fun to watch. And, and you're a lot of fun and wonderful to watch in it. So it, it, congratulations to you, man. Thanks, man. So let's talk. You, uh, off camera, we were talking a little bit about you are originally from uh, Buffalo, New York. Proud native of Buffalo, New York. And of course, the first thing I ask about is the freezing cold temperatures and the snow. Yeah. And then we talked a little bit about that. Uh, but how, so our family still live in Buffalo yeah. or is everybody? There's, we're on the youngest of six kids. Uh, wow. Three of us are not in Buffalo, three of us are. Uh, Mom and dad are still there. And as often as I can, I go back to visit. Dad just turned 88 two days ago. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, what's your dad's name? Uh, his name's Richard, but they call him the shark. Name's well, Sharky. look, uh, happy belated birthday, shark, from everybody <laughs> here at the Paramount. That's I'll, absolutely can't awesome. Can't wait to show him. He's going to love that. So uh, I uh, uh, did a bunch of research and found that you took kind of the non-traditional route at first when it comes to uh, education and be preparing yourself to be an actor. You uh, went and got a degree in secondary education social, social studies mm -hmm. at Buffalo State College, That's correct? correct. Yeah. So you got that, but were you performing at the same time? I, well, I had, I, it was, you know, when I was in college and undergrad, it was almost like spin the wheel for my major every, almost every year. This is back in the time when, it, you know, you can, you know, tuition was like thirteen fifty a year. Right. You know, uh, so I could take five years and <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't break my own bank. Um, I started off with a theater major and switched to psychology and then switched to history and then finally finished with secondary education social studies. Um, yeah, I, I, I did. I performed, I performed right on through. I even taught for a year after I graduated. And it's just, you, you can't, I mean, if, it, if the bug bites you and you're infected, you can't get away. I've tried, it's, a, it's sometimes a tough road, but I can't get away from it. <laughs> well, look, you, you ended up going to Roosevelt and getting your MFA. I did. So I've got to ask, how do you go from the East Coast and then, you know, having teaching, doing that kind of thing, and, and you got the bug and end up going, I'm going to Roosevelt, I'm going to do this thing. Got it, yeah, I was, uh, was performing uh, a year after I graduated, um, I was performing in different theaters and uh, on cruise ships um, for about three years. And the last ship I was on, I said, okay, I'm going to go get some training. I need to get more training in what I do. And a friend of, of mine said, well, what are you thinking? I said, I I'm going to go to New York because that seems to be the logical decision. Right. And he said, think about Chicago. And I said, I'll think about it. And I had already visited there a couple times. And I went one more time. One of my best friends had lived here and still lives here. Uh, and I said, you know, I don't know many people, I don't know as many people in Chicago as I do in New York. There's more acquaintances in New York and I've got a couple of good friends here. And I've always liked the feel of Chicago. Chicago always felt much more like home uh, than New York ever did. New York was always a, f a fun place to visit, but it never ever felt like a home that I could make there. Uh, so yeah, it was about, it was about getting better training. Uh, I came here and they say the rest is history because uh, here we are. Well, I've got to ask, before we get into kind of what you've been doing since you've been here, mm -hmm. what's it like to work on a cruise ship? I don't think people really fully understand, like, it's all just part of uh, uh, the journey of actors, of the jobs and paying the bills and different places like cruise ships that you spend time yeah, on. Yeah, right? yeah, and, I, and a lot, particularly musical theater performers, a lot take that route. Um, but I think it's up to, it's an individual uh, disposition that determines whether or not it's, it's cut out for you. I loved it. Um, I was in a different tropical port of call every day, sometimes every two days. Um, your room's always where you leave it. And uh, it was a, a ton of fun. It was really good money, a lot of, a lot of good memories made, a lot of good money saved. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you're if you're of the right disposition, I think it's a great fit. And if not, then you figure it out pretty quickly. And that's usually it. And do you guys do, can I ask, three-month, six-month contracts? How yeah, something like uh, that? The first one I did was six. 
The second one was I was picking up for somebody who was leaving, and that was halfway through, so that was three months. And then I did another one later on, which was a four month. But typically, I think they're six to nine months now. So back in Chicago, man, you, you've worked all over the place. Mercury, Drury Lane, Court, Chicago Shakes, been in, in some wonderful, amazing productions, including uh, you, you were part of the uh, group that won a uh, Jeff Award last year. Yes. You got to play Lurch in the Adams Family, and you guys won for a uh, mid-sized musical. Yeah, we did. And like, how cool is that? Uh, you got to play Lurch, gosh. which in my world is kind of an iconic figure. Like you say Lurch, everybody knows who Lurch is. You know what I mean? In my world too, I mean, back in the day, you came home from school. Yes. There, there were 1,500 channels. We had like five channels. And invariably, it was you know the Brady Bunch or Gilligan's Island or the Adams Family. I loved Lurch. When I realized that, when I found out I got I booked Lurch and I was cast, I couldn't believe my luck. And uh, boy, what a great group! Really good group of people. A lot of fun to do. Just like this show, it's a really good group of people. It's a lot of fun to do. And then you see people after the show, or you hear about it after the show, and they enjoy it as much as you do it. I mean. That's what makes that tough road worth the sloth sometimes. Because you just, you can't, you gotta, you just bottle that feeling. Right. With you. And you know, another one, another iconic show is I Love Lucy, the exact same thing, man. I grew up on it and the Desi Arnaz show and all that stuff. Yeah. And you were in the uh, I Love Lucy live production I was, as I was, well. I was fortunate enough to come back into town after a tour and pick up uh, where they had left off. I was, I was signed on as an outside understudy who got to come in and do certain roles uh, if, if someone had to be out for whatever reason. And that was, that was a ton of fun. And Serena Irwin, who played Lucy, I really channeled, I channeled a lot. She was terrific and uh, a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to work with. And you're getting me to see just what a, what a great gig I got. <laughs> now, you, you talked a little bit about the struggle, and, and I always try to make people realize, like, man, you guys work your butts off. Not just on stage, but, you know, you got to do all these things to pay the bills and make a living. And, and so I say this with nothing but admiration. When I talk about the stuff that you've done over your career, you've been a substitute teacher at high school for the arts. You've been a uh, dance instructor for Arthur Murray. You were a presentation specialist at the Shedd Aquarium, a dog walker, a PR manager. Like, you've done all these things. And to me, I look at that thing about the Shedd Aquarium, and I assume that means you were the guy that probably had the headset on, and maybe it was by the orca whales or whatever it was. And yeah, you're doing dolphins. that presentation, right? Yeah, I did, we did a 30-minute presentation, uh, Marine Mammal presentation. We talked about uh, the dolphins, where they're from, certain uh, behaviors that we like to see that help the caretakers take care of the dolphins. You know, give me your tail, so maybe if we have to draw blood sometime, we'll just keep practicing you giving me your tail. Um, I, plus, they're dolphins, you know? I mean, it's the real, that was the really interesting part for me, is to see how those behaviors work into, it's not just, you know, the dolphins are gonna do these behaviors. Uh, but working into their working into their medical care or just general well-being, but then also they're dolphins. You get to hang out right by dolphins. Just sip, have a cup of coffee in the morning is my favorite part. You go in there 7:30 in the morning. No one's in there. It's dead quiet. Nobody's in the oceanarium, and you just sit there with a cup of coffee and you watch the dolphins swim and they come up and hear them get breath. It's so relaxing. Wow. Yeah, it's great. And is it that area that's like floor to ceiling glass that looks yeah. over the lake yeah. like? You can just sit there without dolphins, and you've got the most beautiful view of everything yeah, in absolutely. Chicago, and yeah. then you add the cool dolphin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you're living La Vida Loca yeah, at really that point. It's yeah. really terrific. Well, look, uh, uh, you're an interesting cat, man, and, and <laughs> it's nothing but a pleasure to always get to talk to you, and you're a wonderfully talented artist on top of that. So thank you again, man. Thanks for being here. Thank Absolutely. you for doing this show. Thank you for, for uh, doing this interview with us, man. And, and come see Jeff. He's wonderful. You're going to love him. Keep an eye out for him with all the stuff in Chicago. And if you have questions about dolphins, lurch, I love Lucy, or anything else, man, yeah, check him out. Thank you so Thank much, you Jeffrey. Jim, thanks for having me.